Hi, my name is Dalton Scott. I am 20 years old and I have autism. So autism or autism spectrum disorder is a developmental disorder that affects communication and behavior. For communication, maybe the person with autism is nonverbal or they have a hard time understanding the nuances of conversation. The behavior symptoms of autism tend to revolve around the fact that a lot of us have a need to be repetitive or to follow a set pattern. One form of this is special interest, and a special interest can be anything. Maybe you like records, maybe there's a movie that you like to watch. For me, my special interest is Pokemon, so I collect the plushies, I watch the show, and then I also even play the video games. One person may have more symptoms of autism than the other person. Doesn't mean the other person who has a, the less amount of symptoms isn't also struggling. I was only diagnosed two years ago because my symptoms aren't that severe. But even though that's the case, I have a really hard time with schoolwork and socializing with others. One problem I feel people with ASD are facing right now is the lack of quality when it comes to representation. There are characters in TV shows and movies that have autism. For example, Sam Gardner from Atypical or Sean Murphy from The Good Doctor. The problem that we have with these characters is the fact that they're basically just a caricature of an autistic person and they're just full of stereotypes. Before I got diagnosed, I did research. And even though I matched up with all the symptoms of autism, I remember watching these characters and it made me second guess myself of whether or not I was actually on the spectrum. I will say though that things are definitely improving. We have people in the media like Greta Thunberg who is an activist and is showing that people with ASD are capable of great things. We have the movie Loop and it features an autistic girl who is all nonverbal but has a beautiful unique view of the world. And there's also the ASAN or the Autism Self-Advocacy Network which is run by people who have autism and does a great job of actually supporting the community. And I think if we continue along this path as well as continuing educating people about what ASD really is, I think things will turn out for the better.